All right, it's been a while since I've done a video. I'm here four, and sorry, I'm trying to get my screen going here. Oh, let's get that moved over. There we go. Wanted that out of there. So it's a uh, here four uh, with X10. So X10, I still have. I got a lot of X10 devices. I'm slowly getting rid of my switches and everything, but I still have these MS13As motion sensors with a dark sensor. So I use two house codes. Uh, I, I have these, had them all around the house. If I just repainted the whole house, I'd take everything down. I need to get everything set back up. Uh, you can see down here, I do have the garage set up. This one here is going to be a dummy one, which I have set to B15 and B16. So really, you just set the device to one code. So I have it set to B15. And 16 will be the dark sensor. So motion will be 15. So... I also, in the X10 plugin, I also have logging turned on, as you see. I'm also using Blades RF plugin. So, let's see. If we come in here and let's take a look. So, Blades plugin first. We'll take a quick peek at that. So, we come in, sensors. This is good for uh, security devices, will be door window sensors, which. I don't have any. I should. I don't know why I'm not showing any. But here. So this guy is still being pulled through the W800 RF32 receiver with Blades plugin. The point of the video is to show you how to create an X10 or X10 code plugin device. Um, so here, like I said, there's blades plug in we'll take a quick look at x10 here's where we would add a new x10 device if we go to configure plug in is where i have all the logging turned on temporarily i have a ti 103 on com5 on a digi quad port device at baud 9600 all right and it's connected and it's okay so let's go ahead and start uh let's go to plugins x10 Add new X10 device. So as I said, this one's a, eh, this would be basement, B. B for basement, B15. Okay, it's appliance module. Your other options are standard, preset, extend. They say don't, if you read this, it says don't choose preset or extend unless you have it, which I did have toggle link X10 switches. Loved them. Uh, they just started going bad on me. I don't know if the LED lights were making them go bad or whatnot. But they had a really good response time, LED light on them and they're really nice switches anyway so here we go b15 add device right off the bat the first thing i notice here is if you is you can see this is there's settings features status graphics x10 like i would assume something would automatically show up but it doesn't no big deal if i click settings it flashes and then i have this so let's give it a name uh, device name Basement motion. Phew. Cannot type today. Floor. All right. We'll be basement. Room. We will just throw basement here. So we can say do not log. I am going to go ahead and log it. Uh, hide from all. Hide from mobile light. Blah, blah, blah. Device string. All this looks fine. Features. Oh. Uh-uh. Have to hit save. And it just did that. So let's go to room, basement, take garage off. All right, basement motion. It says it's on already, but oh, so that was the other thing. So basement motion, look, on off. I don't want that for motion. It shouldn't be there. So we come in here, we look here, and we go to Features, we go to Status Graphics, X10, Manage, brings us back here. So, originally I set this up and I was like, well, I, I, I don't like that. I don't like the on-off. It doesn't seem right. That's not a virtual device. So... Uh, let me, 
I had to take a quick peek again to remember um, how I got there. So up on the forums, somebody did mention that there's a way to get to a hidden page that still exists in, H in HomeSeer 4 that used to be in HomeSeer 3. So if you go to, if you have, if you just go straight to the link, you can. But if you also have John OO links set up, on links one, this was disabled for me. I just enabled it. And what it does, it gives you the old legacy drop down. Uh, that drop down has set up device status. It has these items here. Okay. So I've enabled it. So let's go take a look. Uh, device management. Here we go. So what I'm going to do here is floor room. Trying to all right, show all. Okay. And display filter. Uncheck all basement. Click off of it. There we go. And there's that basement motion that we created. Okay. So we're going to go into it. We're going to delete it. Now this is starting to look a little bit familiar. All right. Okay, so we're going to create one the old-fashioned way, add device. Now, hopefully somebody can reply if I'm doing something wrong, the way to do it in HomeSeer 4 with the plug-in. But, let's see, okay, so, cancel. Something's not quite clicking right. I'm actually not getting everything here. This menu's in the way. Hmm. So that's not good either. The... All right. Try it again. Cancel that. All right, let me go backwards. So, like all my other videos, I don't hide what I'm doing, what's going on, what's not working. I just, it's fine. You know, just leave it here. But I'm wondering if I can go back. All right. I have no idea why it's, why it's doing this to me. Um, hmm. I know I was able to do this on my phone. And it actually worked a lot better. What if we squish this in? Nope, no scroll bar to go up. All right, interesting. All right, got it all figured out. Here we go. So let's go back here. So we were here, right? And we can't see things, hit cancel, things look weird. So you see the underscore device utility.html, take the underscore off, take the dot .html off, bang, I lose the header bar, which is what I want, click the plus now, see, now everything's here, I can get to everything, so, new device, basement, motion, submit, manage category, uh, do I, have a, I have motion, because I created that, all right, Basement motion, motion, voice command floor, basement, basement, code. I think you're supposed to leave this alone. No. Yes, it doesn't say X10, so I bet you this is where I'm doing it wrong. Um, B15. Is light is dimmable status only device select the users not linked advanced off on there we go and there we let's see actually we did set the code here for so the x10 so done basement uncheck all basement uh, what do we have? Type plug in. Uh, 
Doesn't matter. We will sit here. All right. So here's basement motion right here. First of all, if we go home and we go to tools log, let's take a look. See, now we're seeing a B15 basement motion on. I'm hitting, hitting the button on it off, off, on. So it's picking it up. Um, so that part looks good. Go back to devices. Basement is here. Basement motion. But it still has not done anything about update time. Basement motion is not there. If I hit on, it's not triggering as on. So now if I go back in and I do add new X10 device this way and I do B15 add device settings B15 motion I'll go back to basement basement I have a Fruit fly down here. I don't know why we just got hit with them pretty good. Um, all these look fine. Features. Here we go. Stay. We have to hit save. And of course, once we do, it's going to close out. So, British controls. There's basement motion. Oh, B15. There it is up top. Go back in, X10, yeah, there's nothing here that we're going to want to touch. Status graphics, okay, fine. I can change these icons to um, motion icons if I want. Features, yeah, it's a, I don't know. I just, from here, I don't see how to set it as a... Um, virtual device if you will because i have the on and off button but let's go ahead and click on it says last change 928 go ahead and update the page it also is not updating even though the log is showing it here okay so I'm curious what I'm doing wrong. Hopefully somebody can help me out and tell me because I need to get these motion sensors back up. Uh, so I use motion sensors all over the house for a few things. One of them is uh, after so much motion and it will shut lights off. If it's during the daytime and somebody turns off on my hallway light, we'll say. If there's no motion for three minutes, it shuts the light off. Uh, people are constantly leaving lights on during the daytime. So anyway... Let me know what you think and tell me what I'm doing wrong. I'd like to get these going. Thank you. All right. So I thought I would add this um, from screwing around. I don't know what I did different this time, but let's go ahead and run back through it. So if I go plugins, X10, add new X10, and I do B, I deleted these, by the way, B15, say add device, right? Settings, and we'll call it B15 motion basement basement leave everything else alone no is light no hide mobile nothing we just hit save that's it right there it is right we got b15 plugins x10 let's go b16 as i was saying we'll leave it as appliance as well Settings, B16, dark sensor, uh, basement, basement, leave everything else alone, just hit save. There we go, we got the two, right? First thing is, I'm going to put my hand over the sensor, look at that, B16 dark sensor. Take my hand off of it. 
it sends light so it's working motion hit the button for off it's off motion it's on motion it's off so it's working the plug-in is working um i'd have to look at the video over again to see what i was doing that wasn't right and i was trying to do it through the old legacy and i don't know but this is working it is updating um this is all going i it's not a big deal having these buttons here It'd be nice not to have them because they are motion so why need them but so it is working all right but uh still let me know if i'm doing something or should be doing something to get rid of these buttons if there's a way to say it's status only or whatever thank you